Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today is day 168 of playing chess. Every day until 2000 Elo, let us find an opponent. We're sitting at 1700 on the dot. Okay, we get the white pieces. We're going against a 1760 E4, E5, a Vienna Gambit mainline, more than likely. Yeah, he had to think about it for a little bit. So I'm assuming that uh, he might not know the theory completely but maybe he does bishop out takes 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 quite sure that this is just how that goes could also go here no i can't let's go ahead and take make sure i'm not missing anything so if i go here is this his idea no obviously not okay so we're up a pawn for the time being yeah so he's just going for a quick whatever you want to call that if i play this he can go here here is what he'd have to do I just don't think that's it. So I'm going to play here. We're trying to get this. We want to castle ASAP. And this can follow behind d4. But we need to get our king safe. He probably wants to play this ASAP. I'm not even so sure that this would be a great move. Because after this, he can just play here, maybe. But if I have this move in, and then here, here, this comes in, could be good. He might even take the knight. I don't think that's... <laughs> that's his idea i guess his idea is that he was just going to be cut off anyways i mean we just take right and then we want to play this and then we're just going to castle i mean g4 g5 it looks good but castling king safety first we've learned our lesson we will still continue to uh neglect but uh yeah if he moves the bishop there's also a free pawn but we don't really want the free pawn. So if I go here, I'm going to do that without thinking. It's just the move. Here, 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 here. Yeah. We got to be careful. The alignments here. Bishop comes out. That's cool. Let's go here. Only move is this, obviously. Obviously. And then bishop here. Bishop out. Castle. I don't even know if I want to castle. Kind of want to play this. Okay. Yeah, he goes for that. So if I go here and he takes. Uh, I don't have that because this. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, so now we're now we're getting ourselves into some trouble. Yeah, oof. Takes, takes here. Wow, he just won a piece. Oh my gosh, come on. His king's gonna be open, but why did I do that? So if I go here, he goes here? Or do we just take? I mean, taking looks decent. Surely we just go here? Where's the queen go? Has to go back? I don't really like what he's doing with this position. I guess he can go here, then this. Knight there, a little intermezzo. Okay. So if I go here, he can block. Is that his point? I want to keep the queens on the board. Here he has a... I need to be careful. Here, 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 here. Oh, we can't do that. No, no. If I go here, he has this. Let's go check. He's going to go here. Now, if I play this move, and he gives me a check, I run. Here, here, here. And protect. No. Here king here here where does this go here 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 then here threatening this and the knight check here wow really i mean if i en passant he takes a check wow that's a good move so if en passant rook takes king here rook check here do i need to be afraid of anything because this is still a threat i think it's fine i really do it's scary but i think it's fine Okay, only move. We can just always hide. The rooks protect each other. And we're still threatening to go here. Uh, what if h5, though? h5. h5 is the move that I completely overlooked. Why not this move? We have to be worried about this now, because if I were to go here, it'd be pinned. I'm going to attack the queen. Might have to go to the corner. That's probably not a great move. Can't really give me checks there, though. He can go here. So he's up a piece, but I have some pawns for it. It's not really the greatest thing. So this is his only check. I think I'm going to go here if he does it. I mean, obviously he does have more checks, but check, check, takes, rook in, takes, takes. I don't think that's really great. We just kind of come out in an equal position. Okay, why did I overlook that check? So I can go here. Why did I overlook that check? I don't really want to go to the corner, but I also don't see why. Why I should go here, potentially have this, and not be able to move. Yeah, so if I go here, he's probably just going to come in. Let's go to the corner. This is looking very scary. He can force a queen trade, too, by going here. But I don't know if 
Okay, so he wants to move the knight. So if I go here, he moves to the knight, I take, he takes, and the queen's protected. If here, and he moves to the knight, say he takes the pawn, here, here, takes, takes, I can take, here, takes. We could take this first, then go here. I think this is fine. We're getting swarmed though, I don't like it at all. Probably gonna have to offer a queen trade. Yeah, he doesn't have any squares around him. So he's probably going to play this move, takes, and then here. I guess he could go here too, but they're all relatively the same. It's also very good to note that the knight has zero squares. Actually, it has this one. But if it goes all the way back, then we can infiltrate. So this might be a good candidate move. Yeah, there's the check. So this is what I'm considering, because after this, I can infiltrate. He goes here. Can't really go protect, can I? I don't like that he's going to have two rooks in, though. I guess the knight can't really go anywhere still, but I just can't infiltrate. So maybe it's a good time to move the king up then to protect and also attack. But if I go here, he has this check because this would be pinned. So king up, maybe? No, because if I go king up, then infiltration comes with check. If I go here, then I'm forced up, but could also go here and then just push the pawn. Let's go here. We're not losing that bad. We're only down a pawn. Well, no, we're down a piece for two pawns. So he's up one point of material. Now he's forced to the back rank, so he has to play this move. Now he's threatening to take this pawn. If I play here, he has this check here, and then he can take. No, he can't, because then I would take. Could double up. I don't really want to double up, though. Let's go ahead and push. If check here. Cannot take, because I would take the rook. Okay, so he goes there. So I, I really want to play this move, and his point is to go here and try to target this pawn. But I think I'm going to play this. Just attack. I don't like that my king's confined here, and if he does win this pawn, then he has checkmate threats here. So I think I need to get my king a bit more active. Let's go here. We're attacking the rook. Rook must move. He'll go here. And I probably have this. No, can't go there. I go here 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 kind of forced to do something about it if i go here that loses a rook i gotta be very careful okay i think i can do this yeah okay never mind never never mind here is he threatening anything i would be threatening this let's go here that would be checkmate yeah i'm running this is not good check here and then if check check here takes takes i can't even push the pawn because then pawn takes and it protects the knight knight back very interesting choice because now i think i can do this uh here here knight protects the mate threat so maybe not what if i go here here does he have anything he can just go back and protect here here takes here i'm attacking the rook and threatening this but he has this move wait so here takes here he goes back we pin him let's open it up no because he comes back if i go here it's check takes here check takes takes doesn't work because rook sees rook this king's protecting it i just feel like there's some kind of tactics here check that looks deadly but he just takes like this and if i take my rook hangs oh, come on come on come on if i go here there's just nothing here he just takes if i go here check doesn't work here check here i can't really be on this because then he can take here or check both of us have the same problem our king is very confined but he has an extra piece to do something about it with which is the issue and he's also threatening to go here you know if i go here here isn't really stopped here check here takes with check here here and we lose a piece what if I go here, offer a trade? I need to do something with this. So if I go here, he goes here, then I go here. So here, any checks? I don't think so. Let's offer a trade. He won't be able to take with the rook either because if he takes, I'll take back. He can't take with the rook because the, the knight would hang. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Check, I can't go here because there's a fork. Oh yeah, but it's protected now if he goes here. So after here, I have to go here. He takes. So why can't I take? I mean, obviously I take. Now he's going to take with the pawn and then go here. And I can't really sack the exchange. So king up makes sense to me. Now I need to do something about my, my pawns here. Really? So why can't I play this? 
Let's throw some pawns forward. The more that we get those advanced, the better chance we have. He's just up a piece. But if we can get a pass pawn, we'll be okay. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think so at all, but... Uh, so obviously I can't play this. He just goes here. Here, takes, here. So if I go here, takes, takes. He goes here. Check, here, takes. And we're losing. There's just nothing. If I go here, he plays this. We don't really have a chance. If we go here, takes us. If I go here, he goes here. I go here. Or maybe he even just blocks. Okay, we gotta go here. Knight, all the way back. Interesting. Okay, let's go. If I go here, he can go here. So let's play this. To stop the knight from coming in. We do have a four on three, but it's the knight. The knight is gonna cause us problems. We can also go here now to threaten the pawn. So he wants to play this, uh, which is a good move. So if I play this move now, and he goes here, I go here, there's not really anything. Kind of think that I just need to continue trying to make a pass pawn. So I go here, he goes here, I go here, he's gonna go here. I don't know, man. There's there's not really much I can do. He's just up a piece. He has to blunder if I wanna, if I'm gonna win, he has to make a mistake, which is possible. Don't get me wrong. So he does give me the check. We go here, only move. Okay, I think that might've been a little bit better, but I honestly, I have no idea. Everything's pretty much winning. He can just like give me a check and go attack this. Maybe. He goes all the way back. Wait, 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 what? Why is he doing that? He didn't want me to check him. So if I go here, takes, takes. Can't take because of this. Let's go ahead and push. We're gonna make a pass pawn here. He can give checks here. And I'll go here. Try to bring the king. Pass pawns are deadly in end games. We both have one. He moves the king. Here he goes here. And this would win nothing. Might be worth a shot. Here, here. Be careful. Very careful. There's checks. There's forks. This, I think, is not a great... I don't think king to e5 is a great move. But then again, now I have to be weary about this check, so... Maybe my move was not great. Hmm. I don't know. If he goes here, we don't really have to worry about it. Maybe just attack him. Yeah, he goes there. If here, he goes here. Here, check probably. Oh, if there he just takes, that would be a bit silly. Our only asset is this pass pawn, so I think I just have to go all the way back. It's literally my only asset. And I think he's gonna come in with check, then I'll go here. I mean, realistically, this guy could probably trade and still win, but he'd be risking a draw because these cancel out, but he has a pass pawn. So, <laughs> These are the puzzles that I'm the worst at. So if I go here, I'm attacking. If I go here, I'm attacking. If I go here, he has checks. If I go here, he has zero checks, which I kind of like. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm assuming he wants to go here to attack this pawn. But after here, here, if he allows me to get here, it could be very dangerous for him because I have potential checks. So let's push the pawn. I do think he's playing a very risky game right now. So if I get this move in, he's probably going to play here. I mean, he kind of has to, right? Okay, yeah, that's also a move. That is also a move. So if I go here, he can take. It sucks, because if I give him a check and he takes, he can just block. Otherwise, there'd be a skewer. Let's go ahead and push here. Oh, he has this now, which just picks this up. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Let's play here. I'm going to just try for this. I don't really know what I'm doing. All he has to do is push his pawn. He, sh he should probably play rook to g7 and then just push. Let's go here. Protects. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, there's just a fork there. That sucks. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Wow. Why can this guy block everything? I have to go back. Oh. Okay, I have to give the exchange, or give the rook. There's nothing, nothing to do. It's very unfortunate. But of course, we will play for a stalemate. Okay, my opponent wants to checkmate me with the rook and the knight. Let's see him. Let's see this guy's technique.
Nice. GG's. Let us find our second opponent. We get the white pieces. We're going against Chest Strain. We actually, we beat this guy to hit 1700 for the first time ever. If you guys, if you guys saw, he's not playing, he's not playing the Tal again. That's so funny. Okay, so he plays Bishop out. We're going to play Knight to F3, E6. Now we need to pretend or protect the pawn. Okay, my opponent plays knight to e7. Kind of just want to trade off this bishop. I trade off the bishop. Let's go ahead and try to trade off the bishop. If that, we go here. If he takes, we might even take with the pawn so that we can try and play for d4. Yeah, so do I want to take with the queen or do I want to take with the pawn? Because if I take with the pawn, then we might be able to play d4 here. And if that takes, takes can't take back so i actually think d4 is pretty decent here but if d4 knight here we just go here if pawn takes check we go back i think this is fine we also want to castle ace up yeah so let's play d4 it's attacking the pawn but it's protected now our bishop kind of sucks because we have all these pawns on dark squares so we might want to trade this off for a knight He's trying to attack the integrity of my pawn structure. So if I allow him to take, take, it's just not good. So if I go here, he's going to play here. I go here, he can just take. If I go here, he can also just take. But maybe we go here. So this is pinned. He has to protect it. Yeah, let's go here. Now we're threatening to take the knight. And queen goes over to protect it. So if I play this now, he goes here. It's still pinned. Takes, takes. We don't really like that. So if I play this, what's he going to do? If he plays this move, we take. He takes. We can't take back because the bishop would see it. And the only logical move that makes sense to me is to do this. Okay, so my... Apparently I had too much storage, so my video cut out. Uh, this is where we're at. My opponent plays queen to b7. He wants to hold on to the pawn. Now, what can I do? I think now I can go here and maybe this. If I go here, what's his plan? Not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, I just want to go here and here. My point's pretty simple. Rook in. A very interesting move. So he wants to probably play this move. It's actually kind of annoying, but is it really a good move? If I go here, he takes and he's in. If I go here, he goes, he can't go there. So I can just go all the way back and then he's got to move. It unconnects my rooks, but... Yeah, he, now he just goes there. Fair enough. So now let's get our push in. It's exactly what we wanted. If he takes, we'll recapture with the queen. If he doesn't recapture, then we're going to play f6. Yeah. Kind of what I'm looking for. Just what? Um, bro, are you just forgetting that... Are you just forgetting? Bro's forgetting that this pawn is very vulnerable. He can take... No, that's not a thing. I think he needs to be careful, though. He can take, take, take here. That looks like a great square for my knight. And if he goes here, I just go here. I would not be surprised if he just goes back. I mean, obviously, I could have protected the pawn by going here, too. But to be honest, I think there's just way more threats over here. And now we have ideas of just playing h4. So if, if rook back to f8, h4, can't take because that would be checkmate there. And if we go here... Like he's yeah, it looks decent. Yeah, so he goes back to protect. That's fair. Let's go ahead and play h4. Hmm. Runs. He could probably go into that, but not so sure you want to. Yeah, he offers a queen trade. He knows he's in trouble. I don't really want a queen trade. Where do we want to go? Kind of want to stay on this diagonal. Thinking that. So if I go here, he plays queen here. We go here? No. Blunders. But does it? I think we can go all the way back. Let's go all the way back. He's going to bring the queen in. And I think I want to play a... I want to play a4 to try and get bishop here. To just cut the king off completely. Might have to play this too. No. Queen in is probably a good move. I don't really want to throw the game away with a lousy little technique or lousy work. So I can take here with either piece. He gets this. Or no, I can't. I cannot take. What am I going on about? 
He can still take the pawn. If I go here, he can, can take like this. But then takes... Let's go here. Hold everything together. Yeah, so he plays there. So if I go rook here, and he takes. I come here. He goes here. Check here. There's just nothing. Just nothing at all. I have no squares for my knight either. I think I might have to offer a queen trade, which I don't really want to do, but I might have to. I just might have to, unfortunately. And then he's going to get this pawn. Takes, takes. He comes here. Yeah, so unfortunate. Yep, there it is. We have to take. I don't really want him to pin me. If I go here, this knight's always liable to protect it, which I don't really enjoy. So if I go here, you have a way of doing anything about that. Not really right yet, but he will. I'm a little bit worried about this game here. Yeah, so he just wants to add pressure. Thing is, I can just move the knight, or the bishop. Knight goes back. Let's go ahead and play rook here. We want to take this pawn, but we also want to stop him from coming here. Okay, he goes there. Just a great spot for his, for his knight. Actually, hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's play here. En passant. I want to get g3, g4, g5. Or g4, g5. Yeah. Rook there to attack this. Which comes with tempo. I think we'll play rook here to protect. If he gives me checks, I'll just run away. We also have this move. Okay, he's attacking the bishop. That's actually fine. Let's go here. Let's attack the rook. If he goes here, then what? I need to open it up. Open up the position. My bishop has zero squares, so he can actually just play this. But I can protect just in time with this move. But if I go here, and he goes here. No, he can't because of the bishop. So let's go ahead and play that. I'll probably play g6. Or, yeah, g5. So... Do I want to en passant? Probably not. Just gives him two pawns. But we don't really have a great way of rerouting here. Because if I go all the way back, he's going to pin me. But, I mean, this is the only safe square, so let's go to it. Held by the knight. I can currently play this. Rook, or king up. Interesting. So I'm debating on playing this. But then he goes here. Does this move do anything? I don't think so. If I go knight here, and he pins me, I take. He takes. And then we can move. I think it's important to get rid of that knight. So let's play this. Yeah, so he does that. That's perfectly fine with me. Let's go ahead and play here. He takes... He wants to take this pawn and then get a pass pawn. Don't really want to allow that, but... Let's go here. He'll take. Then I'll push. And we'll have our own pass pawn. So let's go here. Maybe this move to try and get this. How did we lose a piece there? Yeah, we just lost two pieces. That was a very, very bad trade. Not so sure what I was thinking, but... Uh... Okay, so if I go here... If I go here... Hmm. I'm gonna go here, it's kind of forcing. So this, this... He's probably... He can't bring the rook to protect. So he gives checks, but... You can go king there, wow. Take this. Now we have this pass pawn. So if I go here, what's his plan? Let's go here, let's attack the knight. He's gonna go here, I'll go here. And he can't move because this would hang. Oh, but after this, no, there's no fork. He offers a trade. Can I draw this? Takes, takes, here, takes. That's the question. I don't think I can draw it. King over. So I can take with... I can go here with check. If I go here, he has this. So let's go here. Check. Goes here. Yeah, and then it's really stagnant. Uh, we're just not in time. Just not in time. Okay. We're gonna go here. He has this. Oh my gosh. So, takes, takes. 
He's just always protecting here. There's no way to win that. Takes, takes. I mean, it's my best chance, right? If I go here, he just takes. Here, takes. We're gonna take. Now, if I go here, takes. Here, here, here. He might be able to get the pawn, but he's gonna win the pawn. Oh, he actually could have just ran, and yeah, now he's just winning. <sighs> unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I'll laugh if he does this. No, he didn't. <laughs> GG's. Why is he why is he trolling me like this? Alright, let's take a look. That was a bad game. So the first game, take a quick look through. He played with a 70 or 87.1 and I played with an 81.1. And so castling was a mistake. Did I miss? Could have just developed. And yeah, we're still just much better. We get in. This is a blunder. So I just slide back here. He gets queen check. And he wins. Yeah, I had to protect the bishop. Overlook. And then, yeah, it's pretty straightforward from there. Game two. We messed up quite a bit. So my opponent played with an 83.2. I played with a 74.1. 74.2 and we were actually like crushing right here. I knew we were crushing that. What did I miss? Just queen back Queen back to threaten it and if he goes here then what then you sacrifice oh because queen can't take queen was the first attacker or defender Then I let the queen in and lost my whole advantage of course and then Yeah, he's winning. But this is my major 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 downfall here so i just allowed him to win a piece apparently this is a drawing move is it this move no there yeah the knight has no squares wow so i just completely threw that and yeah i mean you guys saw what happened is what it is good days bad days he had a performance yield of 1900 i had a performance yield of 1600 if you enjoyed the video today, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all that great stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.